Hello friends, my next session is a section is a, uh, active filters. So, why the name active filters? Actually, the name active filters because filters are used in signal conditioning and uh, mainly operational amplifier as the component of that one. So, what do you mean by signal conditioning? See, signal conditioning in the sense I have a certain frequency component signals that is I have certain frequency component signals I have certain frequency component signals so if I give this signal to my operational amplifier which is configured as a filter Based on the type of this one, type of the design, my operational amplifier will allow only low frequency component to the output or it can allow only high frequency component to the output or it can allow only particular range between F1 and F2 component to the output. So, this process is called as, this process is called as filtering. So now, <coughs> so based on the design, there are low pass filter and uh, there are high pass filter and there are uh, band pass filter. First one is called as uh, first one is called as uh, low pass filter. Low pass filter. It will pass only low frequency component. Second one is called as uh, I pass filter it will pass I frequency component third one is a band pass filter band pass filter so three types of filter uh, this one classifications are there so now we will see first one is a non inverting non inverting unity gain low pass filter so the diagram you can see here see operational amplifier you have connected the output directly to the input output as a feedback to the input without any feedback resistor that means uh, it is a unity gain it will not amplify actually it is a unity gain it is called as unity gain it will not amplify understood or not it is not amplify it is a unity gain now here we are giving input signal uh, which contains certain frequency component uh, with uh, through resistor r and uh, capacitor c1 uh, to the uh, non inverting terminal now your capacitor C1 is connected in shunt or in parallel. So now how this works? We know what is capacitor provides. Capacitor provides capacitive reactance. What is that? Capacitive. Capacitor provide capacitive reactance. Capacitive. I can write here reactance. Capacitor provides capacitive reactance. How you mention capacitive reactance? Here you can see the, the formula for the capacitive reactance is this one. Uh, sorry, capacitive reactance. The formula for the capacitive reactance is uh, 1 by 2 pi Fc. Fc, Fc is a frequency. <coughs> So now, when the frequency is zero, if I take for lower frequency component, if Fc is zero, what is the value of one by zero? One by zero is infinity. That means uh, this will provide infinity resistance. So low pra, low pass, low frequency component cannot uh, move like this. It has to move like this only. So this is. Uh, this is our low pass filter. Now, how you can design the cutoff frequency? Cutoff frequency Fc, cutoff frequency you can design by using uh, this formula. What is the formula for cutoff, cutoff frequency? Fc by 2 phi r and c1. By using this one, we can decide what is the low uh, cutoff frequency it, the particular amplifier or the, this can allow that is called as non inverting unity gain amplifier. So, move on to the next one. So next one is uh, non-inverting uh, active filters. Uh, it is also low pass filter only. Non-inverting is voltage gain. So what is the difference between the last one and this one? Here we have connected uh, feedback resistors uh, in the in the form of a voltage uh, this one voltage divider uh, configuration uh, and 
uh, whatever the input we will get uh, will get gain for that one normally you have to remember feedback is always connected to the feedback is always connected to the in inverting input only so what is the gain get you will get here this is the gain this is the gain you will get here and uh, once again the uh, cutoff frequency is uh, designed by 25f 25r3c1 and you have to remember uh, this is also this is also low pass filter moving on to next one <coughs> moving on to next one inverting with the voltage gain the last one we saw was non inverting now this time it is inverting with voltage gain this also low pass filter only and you have to remember here the gain is gain this is the gain and cut off frequency is designed by like this this is the gain av is equal to minus r2 by r1 now i pass filter now we will move to the second section i pass filter here you can see here in the i pass filter this is the non inverting with unity gain this is with unity gain how it works here you know capacitor is now connected connected in series resistor is connected in parallel you know capacitor will block dc component that means low frequency component only i frequency component it will allow so it is a i pass filter so and cut off frequency is designed by like this and gain is 1 now we will see the different this one under this one different so non inverting with the voltage gain so same configuration you have to remember here what is the voltage gain non inverting with voltage gain for i pass filter so non inverting with voltage gain for i pass filter these are the diagrams for inverting with voltage gain for i pass filter so now the last one in this category is second order i pass filter second order i pass filter here the components z1 z2 z3 z4 is c r and z1 z2 c and z3 z4 is r to get second order i pass filter and to get second order low pass filter so it is this is a diagram for generalized form of second order uh, filter i pass and low pass filter so with this student now we will move to the one uh, numeric in this category so you can see uh, the numeric so so refer to the first order low pass filter he says here refer to the first order low pass filter refer to the first order low pass filter determine the cut off frequency you have to determine the cut off frequency and the determine the gain at the value of four times the cut off frequency this the diagram is given so what is the diagram given here my dear students you see we have uh, uh, inverting we have inverting with the gain inverting with the gain you can see and it is uh, it says low pass filter because capacitor is connected uh, somewhere here capacitor is connected somewhere here so low in the shunt in parallel it is a low pass filter so we have input is given here and this is the resistance and this is the feedback resistance so my dear students we remember so this is suppose if i draw this is the frequency and this is the gain we know uh, normally gain is uh, let you take the gain at zero frequency and later gain will decrease at 3 db and it later it will decrease something like this uh, as i explained previous it decrease uh, 20 db per uh, minus 20 db for a decade it will decrease uh, minus 20 db for a decade because you are uh, you draw this uh, this one diagram you draw this uh, curve by using semi log plot that it is called as a decade or minus 6 db uh, per octave so this is the two parameter we use here to express gain uh, octave octave so now we will see first we will uh, first we will calculate the cutoff frequency fc how to calculate the cutoff frequency fc how to calculate the cutoff frequency fc so to calculate the cutoff frequency fc we are using 2 phi r1 c1 what is the value of r1 here r1 is this one and uh, c1 is this one if you substitute this value my dear students if you substitute this value if you substitute this value what you get here is a uh, <coughs> cut off frequency cut off frequency what you get here is cut off frequency 2 pi r r is equal to this one and uh, 
C is equal to thousand. See here. C is equal to thousand picofarad. So thousand into minus twelve. That will get fifteen point nine kilohertz. This is the frequency what we get. Cutoff frequency. Now gain. Gain at cutoff frequency. There is a formula for gain at cutoff frequency. What is the gain at the cutoff frequency? We have to remember the formula one by something like R three by R three by R two. That is the formula we have seen. Gain at the cutoff frequency. So gain at the cutoff frequency. When you substitute, you will get two point one one. And in decibels, twenty log two point one one, you will get twenty point eight two seven dB. Now gain gain at cutoff. Point gain at cutoff point, so it is less than three dB. So it is less than three dB. So it is less than three dB. So here you can see gain at cutoff is equal to. So we will get, uh, sorry, we will get here 20.83 dB according to the calculation. We will get uh, now gain at four times the cutoff frequency. Gain at four times the cutoff frequency. We have to calculate gain at four times the cutoff frequency. We have to calculate. Uh, so how to calculate that one? So this is the answer. Gain at the cut uh, four times the cutoff frequency. This is the answer. We will get 8.87 from 20. See, this is the gain at cutoff frequency. So now see. See, this is our curve. This is C. Let me try to explain here. This is gain, and this is frequency. This is frequency, right? So this is gain. Now this is gain expressed in AD and decibel. What it says? Gain at cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency is 15 kilohertz, right? Something 15 kilohertz, not exactly. Here gain is equal to. Twenty point eight three decibel something. Now, now gain decrease by six six uh, dB per oct. Gain decrease by six dB per oct when the frequency doubles. That is here it is FC and next oct it is a two FC and next oct it is a For FC, so when gain frequency increases from year to year, gain decreases by six. So from year to year six and year to year six. So total how much it is minus twelve that you have to subtract. You cannot use year decade. Why decade means ten times. If we ask what is the gain at ten FC, then you can use decade. But here he, 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 the question is the gain at Four times. How you will get four times of frequency? First, you have to double it. For when you double it, that is called as one oct. One oct means a six dB reduction. Then once again, once you double this one, this becomes four FC. Two oct. Two oct in the sense twelve. That is nothing but you will get somewhere here, somewhere here seven. So we will see what is the value we got. So, what is the value we got here? Eight point eight two seven. So, in this way, we will solve this problem. In this way, we will solve this problem. So, dear students, with this, we have completed active filters. The next session is something about relaxation oscillator. The application of operational amplifier. How operational amplifier can be used as a relaxation oscillator?